Thank you for joining us for today's Tuesday tip. We are going to talk about something that will allow you to free up space on your desk, get rid of clutter, and hopefully organize your life a little more. Today's topic is all about turning physical post-it notes into a digital version using the post-it app. The first thing that you're going to want to do is download the post-it application from the App Store. You can search for it, or if you've recently purchased post-it notes, there should be a QR code directly on the back of each package. When you scan that code, it will take you directly to the application download screen on the App Store. So go ahead and download the application now if you don't already have it. Okay, so first things first, you are going to fill out some post-it notes. And by that, you know, maybe you have some laying around that you can use. Maybe you need to take some new notes, whatever the case may be. We do need to use post-it notes for this example. So let's get started. Once you open up the Post-it Note app, it should look something like this. If it's your first time opening the application, there will be a few preloaded boards, including to-do items, quick start, and brainstorm. If you'd like, you can take a moment to go through each of these boards now to familiarize yourself with the layout and learn you know, some of the features behind the scenes. Now that we're ready to move on, you'll see at the bottom of the screen, there are two options, capture, create. We'll go ahead and select create to show you exactly what happens uh, in this instance. There should be a large post-it note uh, on your screen. It's a digital note that you can add to, change the color, format, whatever the case may be. However, for this video, we're going to move on to capturing existing post-it notes. So if you're still on the create screen, go ahead and click out of that and then select capture. Once you select capture, a camera will generate on the screen and it will allow you to select the post-it notes that you want to take a photo of. So with this step, notes will go from this to this. But make sure you select each individual note and sometimes if notes are close together, it will appear as one. So you wanna make sure you select each of those as an individual note. Once you've imported your notes, it will all appear on a board. You can organize your board uh, how you would like it, or you can keep it exactly how it is if you already organized your notes beforehand. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope that this method makes your life a little easier and a lot more organized.